Hey, what's going on guys? Iguana Man here, we're back. Hey, me and the Iguana Ninja, we're eating a little lunch right now because we are actually going to, where are we going to? West Palm Beach, right? Yeah. We're going to West Palm Beach, and who are we gonna see out there? Uh, Pablo. We're gonna go meet our buddy Pablo at Air Gun One. Looking for new and cool and different things to try. I'll give you guys a little review and see how things perform. So, I heard he has new inventory, something new that he wants to try out here. I told him my specifications. So, we're gonna go out there. We'll see you guys at Air Gun One. Let's go ahead and eat. Say hi to Pablo in person and to speak with somebody that's super knowledgeable. Let's go check it out, see what they got. Time here all year. Dog, uh, four, five, seven, and the whole Gamo lineup as well. All that in stock. Oh, right up your tank, and you can get it all. Uh, woodchuck, we need to get some iguana. Optics, 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 very, very important. Use, oh wow, compact. This gun is pushing about 44 pounds in 25 caliber, which is the right power. It's not overpowered, it's not weak, it's right on the middle. Uh, these are balls I shot, many of these ones already, and they can do a single haul 50 hours all day long. So this brand, they're not picking on pellets. They do one inch of 50 yards. Wow. And that's what I really like about it. Mm -hmm. Very compact. Mm -hmm. These guns are handmade, guys. And they double check everything before they release them. Right. Everything is right, and that's intelligence. Pieces, everything is in a stock. So, if anything happens to any one of these guns, yeah, we fix them. That's the good thing about it. Oh, Ooh. Lord, my yes. goodness gracious! Hey, and I already filled it up for you. It's full in pressure. Okay. Ready to go. Oh, this is a beaut right here. Look at that. The scope put the Donnie FO on it. So I guess she's ready to rock and roll, right? She's ready to go. I pressurized the gun already. Talk about a luxury, guys, to be able to come out here in person, have lunch with the boys, and come back and look at this. We are ready to work. We gotta get to Pleasure, it. like always. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Sometimes you guys call and ask for me, and I'm not here. Mm -hmm. I got a person. It's my number one buddy is Nate, right there. Oh, Nate Nate's here on Wednesdays right all day long. Uh, he's in charge of the store once or twice a week. So uh, you can also ask for him, the buddy mm -hmm. that is helping me on the store here. Appreciate it. I had the same gun, I'm using it too. We're ready to rock and roll, y'all. We are going to be strike pellets right here. Isn't it weird? Do you guys see oil in the water? Yeah. Do you see oil? Looks like a rainbow. You see that, right? Working like a true boss. I like it. it, seems like it's got some great power. Got it. I will say one thing, <laughs> Air Boss took care of business. Was he 
you over here. Look at that, we got sharks rolling out here. Something right here where it's 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 looks like oil is coming out of. Yeah, that's some kind of something, some kind of chemical. It smells like paint. Mm. This right here. It's all oil. This is, yeah. This is toxic right here. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, a new customer. Basically, she has some iguanas digging under her pool dock. So I went there. I didn't see them. I saw where they were digging. So I set some traps. Apparently, we got one in the trap. So if they're there... We do got our air boss that we got from Pablo. We're gonna go ahead and see if we could take him out with the air rifle. All right, we're pulling up to the house and I got some butterflies right now because I don't know how this is gonna go. I gotta figure this one out by myself, but regardless, once I get there, if I do bring out the air rifle, I'm gonna try to film it. I am by myself, but if not, I'll just show you the aftermath, so. Right there. They're right next to the wall. Yeah. Wait. Intricate burrow system right here. That's crazy. Is the guy on there? You scared? Alright, I see him. And get away there will go our bounty so that's it right there big boy we got the she this is where we're digging at there it is right there yep people might not mind them and there's nothing wrong with that but for people that own homes or people that take uh, good care of their property and stuff like that, uh, you know, it can be a nightmare, especially when you have them digging. So she would have went under, laid those eggs. Okay, a prime example of a mess of iguanas. You can see there's a pack of them. Looks like they are grazing. Yep, see that right there? We got, a, looks like a mama, a baby got an alpha right there in the middle another little minion another probably the younger less dominant male just his position right Larry mm -hmm. so he's right in the middle of them all he's like kind of supervising everybody you know yeah. wow it seems like post breeding season egg laying season it seems like maybe some of these male iguanas take on the fatherly figure role Drop a comment and let me know what you think. Looks like about eight o'clock. Oh, got it. Stung it. You know what? I, I'm starting to really get accustomed to this rifle. And one thing I'll try, look, look. Look at this. This is what we were just talking about. Holy moly. Yo, they're like moles, dude. Three, four, five, six fishes. That's what that silly iguana was doing. Boys and girls.
girls. Why? Come take a look. Nice guana. Orange in color. And it's full of them here eggs. Well, my cell phone is already wet. Oh no. But look how skinny that little rascal is. It's almost like she went on a Subway diet. You see the difference? Super, super skinny. Yeah, I think we see one in the grass. behind us is our customer's house and she's dealing with iguanas living inside her roof right now so yeah we just had to take this one out no telling what iguanas are doing in the roof right now i know we eradicated a lot of them and i'm crossing my fingers there's no more in the roof but we just prevented this one right here from living in this tree potentially going into that roof now if she didn't go in the roof there's a high chance she would have just laid these eggs right along this bank right here and the vicious cycle of iguanas in this area. Whoa, boys, looks like we ran into a string of bad luck here, huh? I think we see a massive fish underneath there. Did he eat it? I think he might have ate it, guys. Two, three. That's cool, dude. Hell yeah. He's right, he's right there, man. The corner of the mouth. It's like kind of warm, like the water's warm. So. False alarm. <laughs> False alarm. Oh my god, we're on to something big, guys. Can we get this thing to focus? It's a big fish, guys. Oh, you guys see it? I, I can't see it, dude. Oh. 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 One, two, fish or die. Oh. <laughs> No! What is that? Yo, what is that? Yo, it looks like the white fish, but it's red, you know? Chomper's there. He's got pretty nice eyes. Really spiky spikes, you know? Look at that. Are they going to spike by that, too? Ouch, look at that. Oh, yeah, that would. He's pretty fat. He's pretty, he's about, you know, solid fish. We'll throw him back, though. Good luck, you know? Maybe we'll get something bigger. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Dude, that was just the wind. Oh darn it, it was the wind, bro. Aww. Right. Dang, played well, we got, it now twice. We got, the, now we got the weather playing tricks on us, you know? We're not out the game yet, but uh, yeah, I mean, we had some fun. We caught some small bass off camera, about three of them, right? Three? So, yeah. Oh, big fish. You saw that thing, man? Yeah, that thing was huge, bro. Come here, come here, come here. You got it. You just took it. Dude, where the heck did he come from? Holy thing. Oh. Yo, that thing was a tiger. I think he still has it, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, man. This is all you, but he's got it. Oh, shoot. I'm yep, so shoot. set the hook. Whack it. Yep. Yep, there he is, Benny. Yep. All right, Benny. You got him. We gotta find out a way to land him now. Yeah. Oh, dude, what? Yeah. What? Yo. Oh shoot. <laughs> Told you, man. Bro, it's like we're in the Amazon, Manny. All right. Excellent. Excellent catch, Manny. We'll get him off the hook and we'll send him back. Beautiful right. Toyota Tacoma brought us here. One of my big investments last year had to up the ante. Speaking of upping the ante. Shout out to our boy Pablo at Airgun One hooking us up. Air Boss, as you guys seen. Well, because there's so many holes bored under, we're starting to settle. So, wow. so they're digging holes underneath this pool, and it could potentially be sinking it under. That's yeah. what you're saying. As you can All see right. here, it's yeah. like a live wire now. Where are the big ones at right now? You think? Lady, clean lady, would probably would she would know where. There's a big one here somewhere. That's a new one. That went past me. Let's see if anybody's home. Right here. And have a nice, fine, ripened banana just waiting for him. Mm. Throw it in that trap. Okay. 
now that we took out those little guys, maybe a bigger iguana is gonna come out, try to be alpha, go in the trap, we get a bounty. That was a pretty crazy eradication. I had to go out there. I just saw a bunch of holes, prevented them from laying their eggs. Well, some, not all. Check it out. 30. These eggs are massive. That's just from three iguanas, man. Remember, iguanas are an invasive species. So do your part and help control Florida's invasive iguana problem, of course, in a humane manner. Your first step to getting in the field and helping Florida's invasive iguana problem. That new piece performed pretty, pretty good. Oh yeah. Ninja, you seen some of the footage, what do you think, man? Yeah, it was, that gun is remarkable. I love the versatility of it. It's pretty small, you can bring it along with you. Oh yeah. And also, it's not too loud and it's got a nice amount of power to just do what we need it to do and not, you know. I mean, I'm excited to use it again, man. I can't wait to put my hands on it. <laughs> Hey right, guys, we're gonna wrap the video up right now. We got some more iguana removal to do. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man with CJ the Iguana Ninja. We do appreciate y'all support. Remember, you guys wanna go on a tour if you guys have any questions. You guys can send an email right here at rajdiguanaman at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys want more updates or more behind the scenes stuff. Ninja is on there as well, CJ the Iguana Ninja. So follow us guys, that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, we're gonna cool off, drink something, relax, get ready for the next one. Cheers.